All right, so look, man, this is going to be an extremely quick video here. I'm going to try to keep it under three minutes because, to be honest, no disrespect, but I don't care too much about it, right? Not saying that the game and Rick Ross aren't good rappers. Matter of fact, the game, he's a really good rapper. But who cares, man? Seriously, right? We just watched the main event. Now, here y'all come with the opening cards. Man, we just seen the heavyweight championship fight. Y'all late. That ain't the way it worked. Y'all supposed to have came before Drake and Kendrick. Man, this dude, the game over here rapping his butt off, right? Paul. I'm talking about dissing the hell out of Rick Ross. Really good rapping, too. But for what? We already seen the heavyweight fight, man. We, we, we went home. We already took a shower, got in bed. We don't want to see this, fam. You took too long, buddy. If you was going to diss Rick Ross, you should have been there. That Y'all over here trying to steal Kendrick and Drake shine. Let me include myself. I want to beef too. My name the game, and I'm from West Side, fool. Like, no disrespect. It's like this, right? Imagine all of us as fans. Fans of hip hop. We just watched Steph Curry and LeBron face off in the NBA Finals. And now here y'all come expecting us to care about a preseason game against the Utah Jazz and the Charlotte Hornets. And man, Melo Ball, he ain't even on the team right now. He injured. So imagine how boring that game would be, right? That is what we are watching right now. The game expects us to care about this beef after we just seen the heavyweight fight. Again, don't get me wrong, man. The game was going crazy. And if Rick Ross responds, I'll probably check that out as well. But fam, where did this even come from? Why y'all had to wait until Drake and Kendrick Lamar started beef? But yeah, man, we all know the game could rap. So he did his thing. Definitely go check it out. That dude told Rick Ross the last time he had keys on him was when he was a CEO. I said, Jesus Christ. What else he say about Rick Ross? He said that dude 12 uh, lemon pepper wings away from dying. He also brought up the fact that Rick Ross uh, said that line about putting the molly in the girl drink. So he's saying Rick Ross drugs women. But I want to say this. Didn't the game just have to pay like $7 million a few years ago for a sexual assault case? I remember that vividly. He had like a TV show he was shooting or something. And the girl said he sexually harassed him. And it turned out that the court ordered him to pay her uh, $7 million. So y'all got to be careful, man. Throwing stones living in glass houses. Because when Rick Ross used that against uh, the game and his uh, response, that's going to be a really bad look for the game. And then on top of that, you remember all of those pictures of the game fingering that little, that little young girl in the park? Like she was of legal age, of course. I think she was 18 at the time. But man, that dude was like 36 years old. And I think that's how Drake lost that Kendrick beat. He went trying to expose Kendrick, but forgot about his pad. Like that 17 year old girl video. All of this stuff starts to look crazy when you put it to the light in a rap battle. And I think in this battle right here, Rick Ross would have more ammunition against the game. Oh, you was a CEO. Okay. So he had a job before he became a rapper? He ain't really moved dope like that. He lying. So he lying like 95% of rappers? Now that Molly in the drink, you ain't even know it lying. That's crazy. But other than that, all you can really do is call Rick Ross fat. I don't think that CEO stuff holds as much weight as y'all think it do in 2024. But even though they did it backwards as hell, all right, the undercar is supposed to be before the main event. I will still take time out of my day to listen to this battle as it goes on. Both of these guys are good rappers. Why not, man? I'm here for the old head B. Come on, y'all jive turkeys. Get up and swing. Don't hurt yourself now. I know your bones cracking. Y'all go get y'all a little plate of jello. Sit on y'all little couch and go watch Good Time. Good Time. Good Time. Ah. Rick Ross in the game, bro. Boy, y'all some jive turkey. Out here having a rap beef pushing 50. I ain't complaining though. If you rap good, you rap good. I don't care about age. And both of these guys are good. So even though the game try to spin the block, let me include myself. This one right here should be a good one. I can't even lie. Rick Ross, go ahead and respond, man. I'm here for it. I changed my mind. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZFBaby252. And let me say this as well. 
this is not the game siding with Drake. I see that narrative going around now. The game shouted Kendrick Lamar out like three times in this song. Just to let you know he still rock with Kendrick. He just has a personal beef with Rick Ross. So that's why this is happening. But I'm gone. Lift it. Ay. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.